rainforest was once a haven of shelter and freedom for the Batwa people. In recent years, the Batwa people were forced out of their native land in an effort to protect mountain gorillas for tourism purposes. Despised by their countrymen as conservation refugees and unable to return to their beloved homeland, the Batwa people continue to live on the fringes of the forest without homes, rights, or dignity. Batwa women and children are denied an education and medical attention, and many mothers give up their children to orphanages to protect them from violence and prevent starvation. As a result, they began trading their beautiful nesting baskets, hoping to earn enough income to keep their families together. Following the traditions of their ancestors, they forage native grasses and trees, gathering bark and collecting leaf pods from new palm leaves before they open. Using a large knife, they split each pod open, strip the inner layers apart, and hang them to dry in the sun. When they are completely dry, the women cut them into long, thin threads for sewing. Using wooden pestles, they crush native leaves to create a mixture they boil in hot kettles to release the natural plant pigments. Patiently, they dip their threads into the kettles of hot dye and dry them in the sun over and over until they are the desired shade of shadow black. Gathering together as a community, our artisan partners weave intricate designs inspired by the mountains of their homeland. From start to finish, each set of Batwa baskets requires two weeks to complete. Every handcrafted basket contains thousands of years of Batwa heritage and weeks of artisan craftsmanship. When you purchase these decorative nesting baskets, you are partnering to provide refugee families in Uganda with access to medical care and education, opportunities to purchase their own land, and hope for a future with dignity.